good morning, good day and good evening to all who loves to create the flowers. My name is Natalie and today I would like to show you how I do my flowers. I think that the flowers one of the most uh, attractive accessories which gives you a special and attractive look. And now I would like to introduce uh, the selectable blue flower, uh, which is very easy to make. With the only blue bead, I choose Shambhala. It took just several steps to create it. Step first. We need to prepare all necessary things for our flower. So I used uh, natural silk, uh, a piece of natural silk, which is a white color. Uh, also, of course, we need patterns. For the quality of your work, you have to have wet flannel. Uh, also, some several brushes. Also, I use the dyes. Uh, the colors is sky blue, uh, it's a dark blue, it's a green lime, and it's a violet. Also, the palette would be helpful. So, some water is always for, for work with the colors. Uh, you need also to prepare the surface to dye on them the details and also to dry them. Uh, to assemble the flower, I use the hard glue, which is from Japan, actually the best one. Uh, also, to shape the flowers, uh, I use the irons with a double spoon and floristic knife instruments. Um, also, I use the wires, gauge number 33, a couple of them which you have to cut into three pieces, actually. <clears throat> uh, and the gauge number 26. Uh, further, it's going uh, to go through the, our bead. So, uh, also you have to have uh, the surface to glue on it. The stapler would be helpful, a pencil, it's a brooch bag, you see, I've got this one, um, the pillow to shape on it, I use the hard pillow, uh, so if you've got everything and you're ready, we can move to step number two. Step 2. Put the pattern of petal on the fabric at the angle of 45, like this, and then trace it. And now you have to fold the fabric like this and staple it. Staple it and it makes easier the process of cutting out. The sepal has a general shape like a circle, so it doesn't match how you uh, how you put it on, on the fabric. So now you have to trace it. Please avoid the line of pencil. should be seen.
and now please check you should have one sample and 10 details uh, of the petals step number three now we are going to dye our details so uh, first of all we have to wet all of them So all the details are wet and now we have to work with the, our dyes. I begin with the lime green and I'm going to drop it. If you see the uh, lime green uh, is laying on the bottom of the petal and also the sepal is lime green color so next one is sky blue violet and the blue one just to look at the color and to know it but I will drop a little bit water Don't forget about the wires, you have to dye them also, so just put together with petals and sepal. Five of the petals I'm doing with a sky blue color and partially put a bit uh, dark blue. I've done this the purple one, I think it's quite dark, so I need another one with a sky blue like this. So and the rest. I am dying with a um, violet and dark blue color. If you want them bright, so just leave them on a plastic or on a glass surface. If you want them paler, so just put them on a paper. And now, please let them dry. I'm going to give a little bit more shape to our petals. At this time, while you are cutting uh, these lines, you have to put uh, your irons both of them to heat. So I'm doing uh, something like rays from the very bottom of the flower. Uh, the work with the floristic knife is done, so we are going to use a double spoon. Let's do all our petals. Once the petals are done, so uh, we're beginning to work with our set. So we're using a double spoon as well. And then to the lip and to press it. So uh, our details uh, are ready now and for the next uh, step. We have to stick together to, to the tails. I know one is light and one is dark. So uh, and I need a wire between them. 
the kondu. I'm taking my hard glue. Uh, I'm taking some glue on a stick. And then glue a little bit fire. Put on a dark detail like this and then taking the light one and press. Next one and do all of them like this. So now we are putting this wire through our bit. Now we are taking our petals and um, putting some glue on the bottom of the petal, like this. Don't care about the glue because this Japanese glue is, uh, is very clear after the drying. When you are working with glue, please uh, use this wet flannel. So now just with the wires, you see you, you have a lot of the wires, so just twist all them. Just because of the wire, you can shape your petals how you want to. Wire is very flexible. I have to cut the wire off like this. You don't need this anymore. And uh, stick with the glue our sepal. And now, what I will to do, I will put some glue inside of the base. So, and now your brush is ready. 